Good morning. I have always known that music can have a huge effect on the listener. When you're listening to music that you enjoy, it makes you want to listen to more of it. Music that you don't like makes you want to turn it off. I don't have a degree in psychology or medicine, but I have many years of playing, singing, writing, and listening to music. My experience with music has had a huge influence on my life and career and on the lives of other people. If you think about music, I can assure you of a few simple facts. It can soothe the soul. It can make us laugh. It can make us cry. It can comfort the brokenhearted and encourage those who are discouraged and depressed and disheartened. It can bring back vivid memories of experiences long ago. It can remind us of happier times and, of course, not so happy times as well. Just like walking into a shop that roasts fine coffee, we can remember that aroma from years gone by. Music can give us hope when hope seems to have disappeared completely. It can give us reason to jump up and dance with joy and exuberance or give us reason to sit down and contemplate life and its many blessings. We all know that many parents and grandparents sing lullabies to their little ones to help them fall asleep. Music can make us ponder and think about our future. It can give us pride about our country and our freedom. Those of you who are married in a church or elsewhere most likely remember the music that you chose for the ceremony. Hearing a certain melody or a piece of music can set off an avalanche of feelings and emotions, at times uncontrollable. Music can be just as powerful as a drug, a prescription drug, of course. It can open our hearts and minds to what seemed inaccessible. It be, can be a catalyst to help us open our minds when they have been locked for years. This provides me with a reason to share with you a true story from about 15 years ago. I remember so vividly the time when my colleague and I went to a long-term care facility to do a chapel service. He was the pastor from the church where I was the organist and choir director. We arrived and he stood in front of 25 or 30 lovely mature folks. I sat at the piano. I specifically remember one older gentleman who was seated in a wheelchair, leaning forward and not communicating with anyone. He was almost in a fetal position. He did not talk or appear to be knowing what was going on around him. We had an opening prayer and a scripture lesson. Then the pastor announced that we were going to sing How Great Thou Art, which was, of course, one of their favorite hymns. As soon as I started to play the introduction, the gentleman started to sit up, straighten his wheelchair, and he smiled from ear to ear. He remembered all the words and the melody. He sang out with a big and beautiful loud voice, especially the chorus. Then sings my soul, my savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. It was one of the most moving experiences in my lifetime. I'm certain that God was able to communicate with this gentleman via the music and the words of a familiar hymn that he remembered from many years ago, probably his childhood. At that moment, and for however long it lasted, he was able to escape his quiet, lonely, introverted, and incommunicado prison caused by his dementia or Alzheimer's disease. Music is a gift from God. For that wonderful and beautiful gift, I hope and pray that we are all very grateful. May we all be blessed to have music in our lives and to be able to appreciate it, hear it, sing it, hum it, and play it. Indeed, let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord for as long as we live. I hope to see you all at the church in the very near future. Many thanks and blessings. Patchum.